The next Dungeons & Dragons collaboration event is near the corner, guys. I'm currently on a test server, so I have access to the event. And I want to give you guys a fair warning. Do not summon just yet unless you are planning to go for multiple items. Unless you're planning to go for the legendary hero Elminster and you're planning to go for the legendary artifact. The reason why I'm saying it is because there are a few methods on how you can acquire some uh, fragments for free by just playing the game. So I'm going to walk you through everything. I don't want you guys to do this mistake. Last uh, last season when we had the Drist event, I made a similar video where I kind of like tried to point out what you need to do in order to collect the fragments, how many can you, uh, can you get for free and approximately how many summons you need. Especially if you're free to play, guys, there, there's no room to waste Heliolite dice, okay? So you want to min-max your reward. Echoes of the Sleepless, that's the name of the event. And of course, we have uh, three different methods on how we can acquire the Sage chest pieces, which are the fragments. Now, you will require 240 to get the Legendary Hero. You will require 240 to get the Legendary Artifact. The very first way on how you can acquire them, simple and easy for everybody, is by completing these daily challenges. Now we have exactly seven challenges. And we're getting eight Sage chest pieces per, uh, per challenge. And that would be 56 if my math is not right. But let's actually just double check it in the calculator. Yeah, so 56, uh, 56 Sage chest pieces from here. How I mentioned, you need 240 in, uh, in total. Now, you're going to get other rewards from here too, guys. It's pretty straightforward. You go, you defeat an enemy, and uh, you're getting this, uh, this done. The next way on how you can acquire this by being a free-to-play player is by confronting Samister every single day, which, of course, is the new daily boss. This will be on for exactly 14 days. Now, one thing that I don't know 100% for sure, if you are getting uh, the rewards 14 times or 13 times. On the test server, on the very first day when I attacked this boss, I didn't have a chance to attack him again for these rewards, okay? So I completed the campaign and uh, it didn't give me a chance to attack him again, you know? So I'm not sure if uh, that was just like a bug or was some sort of an error. But that's one thing to, to keep in mind, you know. So the milestones for the damage actually changed since last season. Last season, the uh, highest milestone was 10 million. This time around is 8, which made it a bit easier for us to uh, reach the, the threshold and collect 6 Sage chest pieces from here. Now, the main place where you want to be is here. Okay, so that's, that's your aiming... Uh, aiming place right here, either 4 million, either 6. So if you are doing 4 million, let's just approximate, and you're doing it, I'm going to go with the minimum, okay, with the 13 times, just in case if you cannot actually get the rewards 14 times, only 13 times. But if you're going 13 times in here, guys, you're going to get uh, 65 more, right? And that will put you at uh, a total of 111, I think, right? 121, sorry. 121 in total, and uh, it's still half of what you need to get the hero or the legendary artifact. Then, if you're going for the other part right here, which, of course, it will be 6, you're only going to get 13 more on top. So that will be 134, right? And that is a bit more than half of what you need. Now, if you go into summon, guys, if you go into summon enough, enough fragments or the hero, you will definitely need uh, need to summon probably approximately 30 to 35, okay? But because you already have half of that, you will need to summon approximately 15 Heliolite dice as free to play to get the legendary hero or the artifact. And I'm going to prove it to you right now. So I wanted to make an exact breakdown of what you're getting so you know where you are. If your damage is even weaker than 4 million, guys, you're going to have to probably do a couple of extra summons based on the RNG. If you're lucky or unlucky, maybe less, you know, it really, it really depends. The good thing about this challenge, this boss, I will be doing a guide later on, so stay tuned for it, is that all of the heroes are at max level. All of the heroes on your account are at max level. You do not have to gear them. You do not have to give them artifacts. 
because they already have their own build, their own stuff on it. So you don't have to worry about it. The only thing is if you have a support hero, that support hero won't be built for damage. Okay. Like Questa, she's a, she's a damage dealer, but she supports. So because of it, she doesn't have a damage build. So some of the heroes uh, won't be as effective as they are normally if you build them yourself, you know? So you're going to have to play around a bit differently. Uh, of course, scrolling the heroes, it will benefit you if you have them scrolled on your account. If no, they won't be scrolled. You cannot uh, modify the uh, interval of how often they are using their skills only by having scrolls. And this boss, I think he is on an 18 second cycle, okay? So keep that in, uh, in mind. Just wanted to kind of like give you, give you a sneak peek to, to this as well and uh, explain you how it's uh, going to work. So right here at the plan uh, planner summoning, planning, I was going to say planning for whatever reason, you can summon the hero directly or fragments. So the drop rates are the following. He's the only legendary that can be summoned. 0.5% chance to summon the legendary. Now, this is 1 in 200, right? You might get lucky and summon one dice and get him and run away. Uh, you might summon 200, 300 and don't get him. Okay. So keep that in mind. This RNG, I don't think this has a mercy. I might be mistaken though. Uh, I don't actually think that the legendary has a mercy. No, I don't think it does. So basically the Sage chess pieces have a 28.5% chance to drop. And that's exactly what we are looking for. Now, how you may notice, I summon nothing. I have 78 dice and I have zero Sage chess pieces. So I'm going to try and get it as free to play first. So I said you need approximately 15 summons with 121 or 134 uh, Sage pieces that you're getting by playing the game. So let's see if I'm accurate, right? Let's see if I'm accurate. Okay, so we got the. Uh, rares we got epic so we got 36 sage pieces from the very first five summons okay that's pretty good actually can we get uh, multiple can we get even more and we summon him we summon him this is like one in the 200 <laughs> this is like one in the 200 this is not something that it will uh happen to a lot of people but you might get lucky like this and summon him and run away you know what i mean but leaving that on the side, I'm going to assume that we summoned the rare hero here and we only summoned 30 more. So right now I summoned 66 sage chess pieces. This for the moment seems like bad RNG. So we have five more summons, which I kind of like reckon that uh, we need in order to, to get the event done, you know. And let's see what we have here. And we summoned 30 more. So... At the moment, the RNG is pretty, pretty bad for us. We only have 96 and uh, we still need uh, 20 or we need uh, 30, you know, so maybe five more summons. So that will take us up to 20 summons in between 15 and 20 summons. That's what you need in order to collect the rest of the fragments as free to play. And there you go. Right now we got 40. So we have a total of 136. So with the 121, you're already going to be over the 240. It's, it's pretty straightforward to do the, the rest of the math. And I summoned 20 Heliolite dice as free to play. Now, this event is two weeks long. Okay, that's approximately how much time you have in order to collect that. As purely free to play, you can collect one Heliolite dice every second day. Okay, just by collecting uh, all the wire marrow for a uh, uh, doing your uh, Vortex, for uh, doing the hero training events and everything else that you have going weekly and then spreading all those wire marrow for uh, the entire week. That's approximately what you can do as free to play. And uh, if you have a few more saved up from before, assuming that you try to prepare for the event, uh, that's where you basically are, you know. Now, if you want to summon the hero to summon the 240, because we're going to continue, we got fortunate enough to summon the 0.5% uh, the chance, right? But that's not uh, very likely. Let's continue till we reach 240 and see how many summons we actually needed. So there we go. We got, we got quite a few this time around, right? We got quite a few, 50, 54 of them. So that's 25 summons. 
this is 30 summons right here. And uh, we have 220. So 35 summons. 35 summons and uh, you got it. 35 summons. It's basically a mercy to... With, with better RNG, you can, uh, you can get out of it faster. I think last season I used approximately 30. But guys, I just wanted to give you guys a fair warning. Do a breakdown of exactly what you need as free to play to get this. And don't summon till you don't collect everything. So you approximately know how many you need to summon. Or summon 5, 10, 15. See how many uh, chess pieces you're getting. And once you saw that, then do the math and see how many you can acquire for free. And then decide if you're going for more than just the hero. Because you do have the legendary artifact, which costs you 240 more. Okay. And is a pretty interesting uh, artifact. It increases the value of the shield and the duration of the shield. It gives you HP and enlightenment, and it works on all of the heroes. So it's going to be great on Adolphus. It's going to be great on him. Great on Nathaniel. So, yeah. I just wanted to share this with you guys. Appreciate every single one of you guys watching. Much love, and I'll catch you all in the next video. Peace.